Hi, this is David Cameron Gikandi here and I'm very happy to have you watching this video with me. Now, I'd like to answer the question, does the law of attraction, you know, as it's seen on The Secret, does it really work and how, how do you make it work for you and where does action come into play? Because most of the people I've met so far, they're extremely happy, good things are happening to them in their lives, but I've met a few who are, who, you know, who, who say that it doesn't seem to work for them. And then others who seem to imagine that action has no place in the creation or manifestation process. Of course action has a place. Now let's first start with the power of the subconscious mind because this is pretty much the seat of the law of attraction. I'd like to mention quick examples of the power of the subconscious mind. They include things such as intuition, you know, knowing what's on a, for example, you can get to know what's on a CD or a DVD without actually putting it in a computer or, or get to know what's going on in another place, another location, maybe even in another country where you're not physically present, but somehow you get to know what's going on, you know, or you can guess what somebody's about to tell you before they even open their mouth. These are examples of the power of the subconscious mind. Now the conscious and the subconscious mind are not two separate minds, they're one and the same thing. Just We just, we just kind of separate them so that we can talk about different faculties. When we talk about conscious, we mean what you're aware of with your, uh, you know, five senses and what you might call the thoughts that you actually get to vocalize in your head, you know, things like that. That's the conscious. Then the rest is the subconscious. Uh, so other things that the subconscious does is creating coincidences, you know, when you think of something and then it appears almost magically, running your biology and that sort of stuff. Now, I would like to show you one quick example of the power of uh, autosuggestion and the subconscious mind because this again plays right into the hands of the law of attraction. There's a man who had a daughter who was very sick, arthritis and several other things, a very young daughter. And this is a true story. He kept, he tried everything and nothing helped. So he kept saying, you know what, I love my daughter so much, I would give my right arm to get her healed. And he kept saying that over and over again. And one day he had a car accident and his right arm got ripped off his body. And eventually when, you know, when he recovered and, you know, got out of hospital, went home, his daughter was healed she was just magically healed you know and at the same time he lost his right arm just saying something over and over has an amazing power because your subconscious mind you may not know it but it creates it's it's unbelievable you know but action always has to happen like for example this man got into an accident that's an action now what is a belief a belief is simply a thought that you hold that is all it's simply a thought that you hold now thoughts are powered by emotion and emotions cause thoughts and thoughts cause emotion you know they're kind of like interlinked so the key here is that once you change your thoughts you change your life that is the key when you want something new just get new thoughts this is stuff that you don't even have in your head and people make a mistake of trying to run on things they already have in their head to get to the new. How can that be? I mean, it's new because you don't even know what it is that you don't know that you do not know, you know? So go out there and get new thoughts, you know? Remember, your thoughts influence what you attract, what you perceive of the world, what you think the world is, how you feel, your body, its energies, its hormones, its uh, motivations, how you act, what you act on, all that stuff is influenced by your thoughts. Now, what about action? Action is a bridge to manifestation. It brings things to physical life. And you need to take right action, you know? Your timing has to be right. It's not too late, not too early. The process, you need to know how to do things right. Do one, things one step at a time, you know? Think of a car driving at night. When you're driving, you can only see maybe like, I don't know, 10 feet. And, uh, but you don't need to see the entire journey. If you're going from point A to B, you don't need to see the whole journey. You just need to see the 10 feet in front of your car you know, that your headlights are, whatever. So that's how you take steps, one step at a time. After you take one step, the next step will become visible to you. There's three, step three may not even be visible to you now, but trust me, take step one and it will happen. And then be careful of using hope uh, and not acting. Hope without action is really, in my opinion, hopeless. You know, you need to take steps and then manage, manage. Managing is always looking, being present, seeing what's happening in real time and using the law of attraction based on feedback in real time and then also acting based on real time you know don't just get lost in your head and hope stay present and manage you know and then you simply need to know what to do and when the law of attraction goes hand in hand with action you oscillate between the two take an action use the law of attraction to bring you the next opportunity take an action on that opportunity use the law of attraction you're always doing that you know now two critical ingredients are right thought 
you know, know the what and so on, and then write action, know the process. To get to the new, ask the right question. Remember, the definition of new ground is new is what you don't know that you don't know that you don't know. It doesn't exist in your head. You need to go out there and find it, you know. And how do you find it? You use the law of attraction. You desire and then certain things, people, information will come to you and act on it and then you'll get the new will become revealed and clear in your mind. A lot of what you wish you accomplish uh, you wish to accomplish in life lies within the realm of new. So you must go to the new to fulfill your life. And therein lies a trick. So how do you get to the new? Now a lot of what I'm talking about was is covered in the amazing lifestyle creation formula. You know, that's a package that I put together with hours and hours of videos, books and so on. Now this is a screenshot of one of the mind maps in one of the videos, you know. And it's about asking the right questions. Because the quality of a life, your life is proportional to the quality of the questions you ask. You ask questions are very important. You know, when you ask good questions, when you ask abundance creating questions, you'll get an abundant answer and abundant life and opportunities and all that. And now, how do you ask the question? First, you should be open. You should not limit yourself. And the question must be phrased so that it expands your reality. You should focus on expansion and opportunity and forget about the problem as much as possible, you know. Ask questions that make you bigger than the problem. Again, this is this new screen is from the Amazing Life Creation Formula. Uh, so you should ask the right question to the right places and people. Examples are mentors, you know, and we have several tons of examples of mentors in the course. I'm not going to cover that here. This is supposed to be a quick short video, and also to advisors, you know, which some of them include friends, family, lawyers, consultants, what uh, people you find on the internet or Guru Elans.com, Guru.com, Yahoo answers then you have to take the right actions you know one thing that in my opinion I believe the secret did not get deeply enough into is actions you must act on what comes to you and there are ways to act effectively and efficiently just that just as there are ways that you can act which you know just lead to nothing or waste your time so what you need to do is to know the 80 20 rule that's a good beginning you need to know how to allowing versus forcing you need to know what to do, so you need to use the law of attraction to get you information on what to do. And most importantly, you need to divide things into projects, tasks, and strategic next actions. Again, that's covered in the Amazing Life Creation Formula. And then you, you, you use, once you know your passions, you'll automatically attract knowledge of projects and opportunities of projects that are in line with your passions. Now you need to break those projects down. Now we get into the realm of action. Passion to project is law of attraction. Then projects and from now on is law of attraction and actions, you know? So break the projects down into tasks, tasks broken into strategic next actions, and SNA is an action you take you can take right now that does not have a dependency. Then you execute the SNAs, you outsource, automate and systemize them. Again we show you how to do that in the uh, amazing lifestyle creation formula and that should free your time up um, make you more uh, give you more resources and money and everything and leave you with more time to enjoy your passions you know it's a site it's a circle hide all fits this is an overview again brought to you from the amazing lifestyle creation formula you have the foundations which are the law of attraction and the science of creation and information like we said uh, you need to know and then you have the methodologies projects tasks uh, strategic next actions financial intelligence your support structure and then there's a personal stuff which includes your passions your wealth profile your strengths you know and how to apply those and deterministic action again passions projects fit into passions tasks into projects SNAs into tasks tunnel engine is composed of your passions your strengths and your wealth profile and your external engine is composed of your support structure financial intelligence and the law of attraction how does it come into place it will give you by your questions it will bring to you the right information the right support structure uh, and the right actions to take you know and all the three fit in the four fit in now uh, your results will come from of course the law of attraction the information that you acquire for yourself again using the law of attraction and the actions that you take based on the things that the law of attraction brings you harmony balance between who you are your strength and well profile and the law of attraction now the treasure really is within you but you have to get it for yourself it has no biases or agenda the law of attraction does not have it's not you know it's not against or for you it's just there it is pure love your wish is its command and you just need to think right feel right act right and by law it is yours so this is what is covered in the amazing life creation formula I'm just gonna go real quick through it I'm, I won't even go quick through it you know I'll just uh, Past this. So if you want to know more, just go to creationpack.com. Creationpack.com, and we have a um, free manifesto for you, a couple of free videos, and thank you, and have a nice day.